Hey guys, I'm gonna do a challenge for myself. I'm trying to make these out-of-box impressions last only five minutes or less. So let's see if I can portray all of what I wanted to say, even after all this rambling, in only that time. The Tonch Jim Jim. <laughs> the Tonch Jim Oxygen. Good use of time, Dan. Um, <laughs> are my favorite headphones for $300 or less. If you take nothing else from this video, from my out-of-box impressions, from listening to the, opening these up from their box, listening to them for a full reference playlist, which is an hour long of tracks that I've got set up, these are, no joke, an A-tier, my favorite, what I recommend you get if you have $300 or less, bar none, this is what I recommend you get. I'll start with the case, I'll tell you about the sound, which is the main reason why I'm recommending these, but I think this case is a pleasant surprise as well for what you're getting. This is the smallest case I've gotten that also happens to fit the cable and everything that comes with it just perfectly, with nothing bleeding over and feeling uncomfortable and you're trying to stuff it. You just wrap it around a couple of your fingers and you push it into the case like this and it's it just fits in your pocket so well, which is such an appreciative thing when we're already carrying around our daps or other portable things. Personally, I just use my phone in my pocket with a dongle and it's great just sitting on top of my phone in my pocket. Super nice that the that the portability of this like you don't have to pay for you don't have to spend more dollars on getting a new case or cable. It's set. I mean that's that has to be considered, guys, for the price. And then let's unwrap these because I'm trying to make this quick. So the Tonch Gym Oxygen. What do I think of the sound? Long story short, these things sound superbly tuned and balanced with just a tad to my ear a tad bit of bass even though the graphs if you try to look at graphs it's not going to look like it's bassy but i can hear it in the tracks that i know personally from what i've listened to a lot of it it sounds to me like it has just a tad bit of bass compared to the mids maybe they just recess the mids a little bit but you don't notice it the vocals and everything in the upper mid mid mids and upper mids they're still coming through very well so you get these beautifully clear mids, considering the fact that there's a bump in the bass relative to it. And the treble is also pumped up. And this you can actually see in the graphs of these if you look online. The treble is pumped up to enough to where you feel there's a good separation and clarity in the instruments. But it's not shrill at all. I listened to these all night while I was working, and I never felt like I had to take them off because of discomfort from the sound or because of how they fit in my ear. These are not especially like custom looking or they don't, they don't try to mold to your ear shape or anything like that. They're just a flat edge on every side, a flat face on every side, and yet it works. You stick these and they feel nice because they're like metal and they have a nice weight to them. They just, and they're small. So you put them in your ear, they sit there nicely. There's no discomfort because they're small. And there's no discomfort from the sound. There's no shrill in the, in the treble. There's no muddy bass in the bass. <laughs> and there's no shoutiness in the mids. This is a superbly tuned set. That's my out-of-box impressions. If you have $300 or less, don't get the Aria. I know it's only $80. And if your budget is really, really strictly under $100 and you've never got into anything before, any audio gear before, get the Aria. But if you're looking like it's at all possible that you want to spend up to $300, get this for $270. This is my absolute favorite for that price or below. Maybe even more favorited than anything that I've tried in headphones as well under that price. Maybe. I have to do some thorough comparisons to say that for sure, but that's my brief out-of-box take. Please keep in mind that out-of-box takes and ratings do sometimes deflate over time. The more I listen to things, the more I reevaluate. But I compared this to the Mest. I put the Mest in my ear. I put the Zens up in my ear. I still really recommend those instead if you have even more of a budget. This is not something you want to add to your collection if you already have something that's expensive that you really like, like the Clairvoyance or the Mest or the Zens up. But these are what you want to get if you're limited under $300 and you're willing to spend up to that much. That's my take. It's not an additional item in your collection to a good item. It's what your good, what your good, <laughs> this is your best of your collection to replace everything else under $300.
All right. I hope this helps you buy uh, or decide what to buy or maybe try it out yourself and set, resell it on the used market if you don't like it. Uh, that's my take. See ya.